You're good. We're back. Season five. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -oh. I think we're gonna see the full show. Y'all to be patient now. Good dog. Oh, God. Oh, it's Duck funny. Eve, Arkansas season 21, 22. Checking the woods, seeing if we got ducks. We're sitting next to some freshly rolled rice fields. We got a few mallards hitting the woods. It's. You got to check the time. It's an interview, says so the time it's, checker. It's 4:45. We've got some ducks starting to move around a little bit cold front came through we'll have a slight south wind in the morning we're gonna sit here and watch the roost and see what happens but uh there's some ducks in the woods so i think it's gonna be good we look forward to this trip every year and this year was a little different christian took advantage of what he did last year flooded up the woods early and uh plenty of ducks in the woods so everybody had their hopes up, but we went out scouting that afternoon and it was the first time that I saw ducks using the rice field. Usually our crew's way too early to see it and uh, we're just trafficking ducks. But when ducks start using the rice fields and then go into the woods in the morning, uh, it works out perfect. It was uh, opening day of Arkansas. We were just hoping we can kill a few and stand up against a tree. All right guys, got a little charging station here. Got our DPs, speed controllers. We're running Dakota lithium batteries. 18 amp hour, fit perfect in the battery box. How long is that drive today? Last all day, it's the way to go. We're about ready to go in the morning, duck 21, 22, ready to get it kicked off. We will see. Hey guys, this morning we're in the block of the woods. It's probably the biggest trees on the farm. It's called the Big Oak Hole. We've got a park probably 150, 200 yards back to the west. It's been holding a pretty good amount of ducks. We're gonna kind of get off the side of the X and see if we can't pull them in here. They should come straight down. Big trees, big tall oak trees. Stay tuned. We thought it was fixing to be a show. We had a full moon, it was super bright. You could see when we were walking there in the dark and uh, you could hear ducks at the treetops. Everybody's excited. And you know, it starts becoming lighter and we're lighting good sized groups. <laughs>
That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good start. Right here. Here. Is there one like right in here? Over. Over. Like right in there. Here they come. a lot of ducks early probably 20 minutes before shooting time had groups all over the hole things kind of gotten quiet we got a little haze in the sky we last probably 15 20 minutes we shot a shot a group shot a group of teal just had a single greenhead do it up so i'm thinking things are going to change for us here we go we got a group of four out front Get that sun up there too. Of course that full moon got us and uh, we should have known better. Ducks quit flying at real early, like 7.30. And we were still able to scratch out a few, had a good hunt, uh, didn't kill a limit, but it was still a heck of an opening day. And uh, the next day we knew it was gonna be cloudy, so we knew we had to change something up. And we were also hoping that the ducks would, would fly a little bit later because of the full moon and the clouds. And so we went to a blind, tried to change it up and, and change our luck. Good. Dude, I'm the fat boy in this You are thing. fat boy. It's the belt on him. He's too hot or insulated. He's a fit. Brandon had about a pound of mud on the thing. It's all in the barn. All in the... Is that what you're wearing over it? I guess. Just, if I'm gonna be hot, might as well be real hot. Wait. We'll do some weight for that. We have a gun in here. So after opening day, we kind of knew that it was going to be sunshine, south wind, and but we knew on day two that the clouds were going to roll in. We may have some rain showers, so we knew we, we knew we needed to go to a blind with some cover. And we've got a big blind in, a, in an area of our woods called the Deadening. It's a it's a low depression. Uh, when we bought the place, it had a lot of dead trees in it. Probably the most on the farm. 
because it was a low depression. I think the ducks kind of early season know to go there because it's one of the first places that gets water. So with it being cloudy, we said to hide nine guys, we got to go to the blind. The trickle has begun. Got that trickle. Gold jacket, green jacket, who did? Decoy chain work. Two hours later. <laughs> hey, bub, where'd you come from? Oh! oh. Mm. some spoiled bull bull guys is that your interview <laughs> no i'm about to give you an interview though and be like Sick. day two the arkansas season cloudy day got a big blind in the woods and uh got a few to give it up we're gonna stay after it see what happens boom on the last day of this trip it seems like every year for the last four years has been the best day for ducks to fly and i still haven't figured that out uh, you'd think three days after opening day is when things start to slow down, but for whatever reason, that third day, it's always chaotic. Ducks are always flying the treetops. Sunshine, south wind, we're, we're in good hands. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him. I'm telling you, just be patient. They were, they were freaking right there and went. Rah, 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 and they freaking.
Dude, they were just, they were just yeah, like, right they were just, oh my God. But for whatever reason, on that third day, big bunches fly, they almost finish, they circle three times, they dip the hole, then they, they booger out. And we're always just so close to having some, some really pretty footage. But for whatever reason, it must be a jinx, but that third day, the, them ducks just don't want to participate. Perfect weather, ducks flying, we're trying everything we can, but for them ducks, they, they still beat us. Yup. Damn it, we would need that big group. Here, here. Kill him. Kill him. Opportunity just like that. Woo! Woo! <laughs> More greenheads right there. Brew, here. Woo! I told y'all to be patient now. Good job. You need to have to call it. That's something Another fun trip down to Arkansas. Uh, it's always fun to share a tree with them guys and uh, and shoot a few ducks. Third day we always head back to the cabin, eat breakfast, clean ducks. And then we head up to our buddy Carter Tom's place, Fowler's Point. So stay tuned for next episode.